Good morning, world. Um, why aren't you eating breakfast? That's weird. Michi, go eat. Come on. You don't like this? So this is like the freeze-dried food we get them. Michi, go eat. Come on. Go eat. Good girl. I think she prefers kibble. Navi, on the other hand, chomped it down. Dang, girl. She's done. Michi didn't even start and she's done. Good girl. Good job. Oh, good job. Oops, sorry. She is a hungry one. She is. The vet says she's getting way too fast. Yeah, so we have to... We didn't take away much of her food, but we gave her like probably like a, a spoon less. The vet came over and said she is getting too fat too fast. So, gotta slow it down. Good morning, Will. How do you do? If you guys can smell my breath right now, it is bad. Because I still have my retainers on. <laughs> if any of you guys wear retainers, you will know. Your breath is not pleasant in the morning. Money is enjoying her breakfast as well. Any of you guys feed your dogs freeze-dried food? They seem to like it. It's just hard to eat because it's so mushy and they kind of like, it, it just doesn't really stick well to their tongue, I think. It smells really good. Like I would eat it. Ah, this is the gross part. Taking the retainers off. Ooh. I had the worst night's sleep last night. My back was hurting so, so bad. Like if you guys have been watching Wally TV for a while, you know I always complain about back pains because um, I have arthritis and I've had it since I was like really young. And for some reason, last night it was just so painful. Like there was no way for me to sleep. So I'm just feeling a little like, uh, this morning. It's so kite because today, <laughs> It's a very exciting day because we are picking up Miso. I miss him so much. I don't know if we really, oh no, we actually didn't talk about it. As some of you know, we didn't really talk about it, but um, BB passed about a month ago and it was a very unexpected thing. Like she didn't really show any signs. It was on a Wednesday that I noticed she wasn't feeling well. And then I scheduled her vet appointment on Friday. And then we find out on Thursday morning that she just unexpectedly passed. So it was really rough and we didn't really talk about it because honestly, I'm not, I, I just don't really want to talk about it. It's just maybe one day, one day we feel more ready to talk about it. But um, I talked about it a bit on Instagram to, you know, at least let you guys know because I know BB is like a part of you guys too. And she was just the alpha of all of us. After she passed, I did not want to get another rabbit at all. Like I just, just felt like no one can replace her. And this is in no way replacing her, but I've noticed that Miso started becoming very sad because he just didn't have a partner anymore. And I just didn't like seeing him like that. He was so down and he didn't want to play. Like he just didn't bink like he used to either. So I thought, you know what? Like it's time to get him a friend because he deserves to have a friend. I don't want him to live his life single, you know? So anyways, we went through Bunny World last week and we found a pair or we found a bunny that actually really looks like BB. So they took him for a week to do the bonding process, the bunny moon. So yeah, we get him back today and I'm really excited to show you guys our new family members. So we're gonna do that today. We will always miss BB and I know you guys miss her too, but she's in a better place. She's back with her man, Wawa. Yes, her man. Okay, oh, money. Money always be behind my feet, okay? I always kick her. Anyone else have a dog like that that just always hides behind your feet? My goodness. Now it is time to wash my face. I wanted to share with you guys this process because I just used it the other day and I put it on Insta Story and it worked amazing. Like my skin felt baby soft. So anyways, this is what it is. And I also wanted to thank Vanity Planet for partnering with us in this video. So this is their ultimate skin spa kit. It comes with the handy dandy tool of course and it comes with three different brush heads the one i have on here is the more gentle daily cleansing one so this is the one i have on i like to use this one to take off makeup and actually i like to use this one in general and this is the second brush head this is the exfoliating one and then lastly is the silicone brush head this one's very unique i've never used a silicone brush head so i read that this is made from a non-porous um, very durable silicone so you don't have to replace this one as often as you would with any other brush head. It's also quick drying and it resists bacteria buildup. So that's really nice about this one. I'm just gonna take some cleanser and I usually like to directly put it on the brush. All right, so here we go. You just turn it on. It's very, very gentle. And you just kind of go in circular motions with it. It helps like remove any excess oil 
or makeup. Oh my gosh, I like to use this at night because I think that I take all my makeup off, but once I use this, this brush head literally turns orange with foundation. You think you have all your makeup off, but you really don't know until you use something like this. Um, also, it helps prevent future breakouts because it really unclogs your pores and you're not going to bed with any leftover makeup on. So if you guys want to try this out, it's only $40 right now. It's originally $125, but if you guys use the link that they gave us, I'll leave it in the description box as always. So if you guys have been looking for something to just help remove your makeup or just smooth out your face, get rid of that texture, I highly recommend this. I'm going to rinse this off now. This lighting is not the best, but let's come this way. How's that? Okay, hello. This makes your face so, so smooth. Some people were asking, did you keep your name? Say, yes I did. And we call her Novs for short. Novs. Do you like Novs? Novs. <laughs> Look at those ears. Okay, let's do it again. Novs. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Okay, put your ears down. Good girl. Okay, Novs. Before we pick up miso today, I want to make us a nice little breakfast. Let's see, maybe we could do like a omelet. That and oh, okay, we got some blueberries. Actually, I should use this onion. Should I? Uh, oh no, that's not an onion, that's beet. Um, let's see, what can I make? Oh, blueberries. Got some tomatoes, eggs for omelet, or some onions. What else do people put in omelets? I don't know. You can make these potato puffs. All right, I was reading comments the other day and one of you guys suggested Whaley's Kitchen to come back or Wally's Kitchen. And that just brought back so many memories. We haven't done one in so, so long. I think we did it a lot when we did Blue Apron because we actually had like really interesting recipes versus whenever it's just Wa and I cooking at home, we make like super basic stir fry stuff. So it's not like anything innovative. So I think that's probably why we haven't shared with you guys any recipes. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll start doing Blue Apron again or like try one of those um, like subscription services where they deliver groceries to your house. I actually really like those because it's just so much more creative than things that I would make. Anyways, so for now, I'm just gonna make a simple omelet. I like to put lots of onions. Our tomatoes, they looking, they they look a little sad. Oh, I hope these aren't like rotten. Look at this tomato. It looks like it's near the end of its life. These don't be rotten. These don't be rotten. <laughs> I think if we cut off that piece. Yeah, I yeah. am. That's fine, right? Yeah. Whaley over here, <clears throat> Whaley over here making some bomb ass breakfast. And I'm just making some juice. So today we have four oranges, four carrots, half a beet, and a big slice of ginger. <laughs> Woo -woo. Peace out, homie. You too. Peace out, homie. You too. Oh wait, I forgot to take out the top. Here we have Waz omelet. So there is tomato, onions, and cheese, and some tater tots. I have the same thing, except I decided to scramble mine. I just prefer scrambled eggs a little more over omelet. Very yellow, a very, very yellowy plate. Give this thing a try. 
it's really cheesy. It smells really good. You mm -hmm. like it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really good, babe. Why do you like it? Wow. It's probably the best omelet you ever made me. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What can I say about my cooking? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm. What it be like? What it be like? When I tried it without the beet, it was so sour. Mm. It's very but, orangey. That's yeah. how I like it. I like more orange, less beet. Mm. The we babies just, are back! <laughs> we just got the babies back. Uh, bought some hay on the way, but we're I'm at so happy. Peco. If you guys are looking yeah. to adopt, every Sunday here in Peco, Pasadena on South Arroyo, um, it is between 2 to 5 p.m. So you guys can always come and meet the buns yep. every Sunday. And you guys can adopt, even if it's not or to adopt volunteer. Any, even if it's just like, just to check them out. Here are the kids. They're very stressed out. Yeah. We're gonna go home now, okay babies? All right guys. It's okay. They're so cute. Such a good couple. I like couple. The, um, the color. Yeah, she's like a <laughs> she's like a blue gray. Yeah. So cute. Aww. <laughs> you hugging her? We're going home now, okay? <laughs> Woo! Gotta blast the AC. Way too hot. I just cleaned up the buns room. Very, very clean. And they're in. My babies are home. Alright, let me give you guys a little introduction. So you guys know this crazy guy, Miso. <laughs> Everybody knows him. Michel Bun, my crazy boy, and welcome his new wife. Hello, everyone. Her name is currently Rosemary, but we're gonna change that. I feel like Rosemary is just a little long to pronounce, so excuse me, Michelle. Yeah, thank you. Look at her. Doesn't she look like BB? So she is a Dutch lion head mix. They think she's about seven years old, and she was rescued from, I think, LA County's um, LA County's shelter. I know she's so shy. Okay, I'll let you guys enjoy your new home. Okay, we're gonna have a housewarming later. <laughs> He's telling her like, "Hey, come out, come out." Okay, Miso. He's like, these are good people, I promise you. <laughs> uh, Michelle, you sure you don't want the strawberry? You weirdo. You don't want strawberries? I'm gonna give it to, uh, to the dogs. To the dogs. <laughs> Those are just freeze dried strawberries. Sometime later in the day. They are both out for some veggies. <laughs> okay, you guys are too excited right now. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> She's doing some exploring. <laughs> so cute. So, so far this year, we have this new family member and she's hiding somewhere over there, Rosemary. If you guys, oh, actually, if you guys have any name recommendations, please let us know. We want to name her, like, I don't know. So miso is named after, you know, like miso soup because he's the color of the miso paste. And we kind of want to name her something that goes along with those lines, like some sort of seasoning. Or is that tacky? I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any good name suggestions, please let us know. You're always, you're always trying to play. You're always trying to play, aren't you, huh? Oh my god, you have saliva all over you. <laughs> Yep. Look at how happy she is. I'm so happy to see. So happy to see you this happy. You know that? You were so shy when you first came home, but now you're crazy. You are crazy. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, she wants to play with money. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Okay, stop standing on her. It is time we go to Sprouts. Wa's favorite market. <laughs> we like. Hey, don't judge me. So this morning he started off the day. Don't judge me. I know, I know that. I, I know that you guys are judging, but anyways, I'm judging. Okay. So this morning I was like, no, he was like actually. He was like, babe, I want today to just be like us day, where we spend time with each other and like love each other. And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, what do you want to do? And he was like, go to Sprouts. <laughs> so you know. We At this point, yes, we're going. Okay, you babies are in. Oh wait, I forgot to give you your water bowl. Gotta give them their water bowl. This is their little playpen while I'm away. 
next to the rabbits. How are the buns? Oh, running away from me as always. Babe, I want today to just be like us day. Here we are at Sprouts. Um, debating if I should get some beans. I really like beans, but I don't really know how to cook them. I mean, I usually just stir fry, but I feel like it's just so plain, you know? Let's see, how much are these? $1.99 per pound, that's expensive. Is it expensive? But maybe I'll just get it, just to have a, ve a vegetable option. Always getting mushrooms. I like mushrooms, they go in pretty much everything I like to eat. Bam! Here's what I have so far. I think I did pretty good. Considering there's actually, okay, the reason why I don't love love sprouts is because they don't have a lot of Asian vegetables. So I prefer to go to Asian markets, but I think I did pretty good overall. Got a potato. You guys know I love my potatoes. Broccoli, mushroom, some garden stuff. I love their veggie meats. Uh, got meatless meatballs. And I also really like their beefless grounds. Um, and yeah, I just got some other veggies. I got my ramen. This is like one of my favorite ramens. And chips, can't go wrong with chips, and some juices. They were on sale, two for four dollars. So got some juice, and that's pretty much all I picked up. So after shopping, we are too hungry. <laughs> so we decided to just eat out. We're at Lunar Feast Veggie Cuisine. It's a vegetarian Chinese restaurant that I bookmarked a while ago and I'm excited to try it. it looks like a nice restaurant, it's so pretty. <laughs> wow, so pretty. It's all white in here. <laughs> so we both just got this headache. Well, I kind of had mine uh, right before we left the house, but it kind of went away. Like when I was grocery shopping, maybe I was just distracted, but it didn't really bother me earlier. And then once we sat down, was filling it. It's like sore right here. Just but hopefully some food will fix that. We got a crispy veggie chicken with basil. It's pretty good. It's a little salty, but pretty good. The flavor is yummy. And we have a tofu eggplant type of pot. I love eggplant. This is so good. What is that? Oh, the chicken? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huge portion too. I was like, wait, I thought this was like a small appetizer. I didn't know it was yeah. like an entree. <laughs> wow. I don't I don't remember what this was called, but let's see it. Mm. Crispy. <laughs> Not crazy about it. No, no. Not at all? Oh. No, it's um besides the texture, mm -hmm. the texture is good. The flavor is just tastes very soy. Um, you know how these like they have their own yeah it kind of masks the flavors soybeans. infused mm -hmm. okay let me try one more game one more try one more try one more time no i thought just soy with soy sauce mm. huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's usually music at this part, but there's none today. I don't know if you noticed, but there was no music in the whole vlog today. Thanks you so much for watching. 